Hey everyone, today I'm going to be opening up this huge Hot Wheels 50 car gift pack. This has 50 different Hot Wheels. Um, a couple of them you can't see, there, I guess, so I guess they're a surprise, but most of them you can see. This is really nice uh, for a display piece, like if you just wanted to put this up on your shelf, or even on the wall, kind of like a painting, uh, you could I guess, but uh, it takes up a lot of room, and I want to open it up and uh, take a closer look at the cars. So let's check it out. All right, how do you get this open? I think, okay, there's a couple of tabs on the side. Um, I'm just going to cut the tape on those. Hopefully I got all the tape. Oops, I can't, it wasn't in the camera, sorry. Okay, get that one, and get this one open. Okay, let's take a look. All right, what are the secret cars here in the corner? This one right here, and that one. Mmm, flames, getting some cool green thing. Okay, let's get this box all the way off. Now, there's a cool picture on the back. Um, it says Hot Wheel, or it just says City, and it looks like a bunch of play sets. Um, sorry about the weird reflection right here, but um, like there's a shark play set and this huge one with a gorilla and it's like multiple uh, floors of parking and all kinds of cool stuff. Snake and all these like uh, tracks that go out to different places. It's very cool artwork. All right, so I'm gonna put this. Um, I'm gonna put this on here. Like so, and I'm gonna put the cars that I take out in here, because so they're gonna so they don't roll around. All right, what should I do first? How about let's go in order from the top. Okay, so here we have an old Mustang. I think. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not a Mustang. What is this? This is a Camaro. Uh, is it, this is 1969 Camaro. Um, I like the flames on this, and the the color is really nice too. It's like a metallic uh, maroon kind of red with a tan interior and a very slightly smoked window. Very nice car. It's like a, a one of the old muscle car type of Camaros before they started to look like sports cars. All right, and the other secret car. Okay, what is this? This is one of those uh, unlicensed type of Hot Wheels. It is just their own custom design. Let's see, what is this called? Uh, Iridium, I think, maybe. It's a, kind of a almost a fluorescent green with a very fluorescent orange interior and a nice bubble top canopy uh, it kind of looks a little bit like a jet something like a with the canopy and the like a fin win wing thing and uh engine stuff i'm not sure what this is supposed to be but it's pretty cool i like the front end i like this line down the middle that one's cool okay next is a Porsche in red. This is an old, uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. Uh, from like way over there in the camera, it looked like a Porsche. A uh, Porsche, but um, this is a, a Nissan Fairlady Z. I don't know why I called it that. I think I was thinking about one of the other ones because I was looking in the box. I was looking at the package and I saw a different car earlier. Okay, so this is G Ready on the side. This is car number 94, uh, like in the race. Um, yeah, that was that was weird. I can't believe I said that. I, I know what a Porsche is, and this is not it. Okay, it, it's uh, this is really nice. Um, I like cars that are kind of painted like race cars if they have like tasteful colors, and this one does. It's very cool. Okay, next we have another unlicensed type of car. This is the, one of the uh, clear ones, which I really like a lot. Um, it's like clear blue and a fluorescent yellowish green or greenish yellow. What is this one called? 
uh, Formula Solar. Is this a solar powered car? Does it have tiny little solar things? Is this a real car? Did someone build like a maybe like a college or something? You know how they? Oh, it opens. Um, sometimes people make cars that look like this for like science experiments or races or something to prove that they can do it. So I don't know if this is a real car or not, but I really like the fact that it opens, and I like the fact that it's clear blue with the dark, like a medium green on the bottom. It's kind of a metallic, and all the colors really go good together on this car. The wheels are really neat and plain and flat, flat discs. Okay, next. Some type of little, kind of like a Formula One race car, but not quite. Uh, it probably is, but maybe not like a real one. So this is called... Sometimes they don't have names. Um, I don't think this one has a name. It just says a bunch of regular stuff, like where it's made and the year and stuff. Alright, this is race car number three. Uh, it's got a nice... Is this plastic? I think this is just like a metallic plastic, silver, uh, with a little bit of maybe gold flakes in it or something, I'm not sure. And the bottom is like a metallic uh, purple, or pinkish purple. It's got kind of like a gold copper wheels that you can see through. And a nice smoked window and a white interior. Very nice. It feels very heavy for its size. It's nice. Okay, next we have, uh, I'm not sure what this is, what is this called? It says Prototype H24, and that might be the name. Uh, this pattern right here is cool, it's kind of like carbon fiber a little bit, but not really. It's got a nice yellow, big huge vents on the front, green windshield, it's clear, uh, some type of turbine right there. Maybe it's jet uh, powered, big exhaust on the side. Really huge spoiler that kind of uh, goes up a little bit. Fins like a jet. Is this another like a jet uh, themed car? I would say it is with the fins and the uh, jet. And it's got white wheels. That's cool. Car number twenty-four. Okay, next. Oh, one's missing. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is the one I just said. Okay. All right, we're going to this this row right here. Another clear one. Um, this almost looks like a real car, but I don't think they usually make the real licensed cars in clear. So what could this be? Um, it doesn't really have anything that looks like a name, except for maybe DTY12, but I don't, I don't think that's a name. So I don't know what this is. Uh, it doesn't open. It's got blue wheels, those are cool. Clear blue wheels. Clear yellow body with the light clear blue windows, which is very nice. And you can see like a chrome interior or metal. Might not be chrome, it's just it's just this color. The metal. Um, very cool. You can see the engine on the side coming out the hood. I like that one a lot. I like the colors. Okay, next we have a Porsche. Yeah, this is this is what I was looking at um, a few minutes ago when I said when I grabbed one and I said it's a Porsche. This is a Porsche because the other one was like right above it. So this is a number two seventy seven in the race. It's got a bunch of um, racing sponsors. It's got a big logo on the top, Urban Outlaw. Blue rear panel over the engine. 1971 Porsche 911. It's got a red plastic bottom. Uh, gold wheels. Slightly copperish gold. But mostly gold, I guess. Though, um, the taillights are clear plastic. A nice clear windows. Not any color on those windows at all. It's just plain clear. A little Porsche logo. A couple times on the hood. Very cool. Next we have uh I don't know what this is, but uh I like 
I like these lines right here. This is neat. Um, I like this pointy end right here. Very cool. Reminds me of like an old type of speedster from maybe the 60s or something. Carbonic, I believe is what this is called. It's got cool vents on the side, or I don't know, who, scoops, or I don't know what you call that. And some vents right here. Uh, the, the grill, the opening is very small. You can kind of see some clear stuff way deep down in there. Tiny little windshield. Nice black interior with chrome wheels. The bottom is orange plastic. A couple little tail lights way back in there. Um, this one has really nice styling and it's race car number 30. 30. Okay, next we have another race car. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, let's see if there's a name. Two timer. It's kind of a ever so slightly purplish blue, like a baby blue with fluorescent orange uh, windshield and a big engine right here. The engine is plastic. It's got two engines. That's, that's why it's called two timer. It's got two engines. This is car number 222. A big stuff right here. I don't know what that is. A couple or three exhaust things on each side. Um, big spoiler, like a double spoiler. Cool lines on the hood, I mean the uh, roof. Lines and fence and stuff all over. That's really cool. Kind of that gold, coppery, coppery gold wheels. Sounds pretty cool. Okay, next we have a little, uh, hmm, what is this? A little Ford or something? It's one of those little economy cars. Uh, Oh, it's a Fiat. You know what? I wanted to say Fiat, but something told me it's not a Fiat. Um, I don't know why. Usually I would, yeah, I, I was totally going to say it's a Fiat, but I'm like, ah, I'm scared. Uh, it's probably not a Fiat. I better not say Fiat. Okay, it's got the fluorescent orange windows. And this is a 500. I think that's part of the name of the car. Fiat 500, yeah. Uh, like a coppery colored wheels. Nice graphics on the side. And the top, this is race car number four, zero four. It's very cool. All right, here we have some type of old, I think this one's a Ford, maybe. Cool, weird, flat grill. Yeah, this is a 1932 Ford. Big engine, uh, chrome plastic. Is this? Metal or plastic? I don't know. Hmm. That might be metal, but I can't really tell. The bottom is plastic. Uh, the back is very plain. No graphics or anything. Early times in gold. Nice flames. Those flames look good on this green color car. It's very cool. Chrome wheels. Okay, next. This is, uh, let's see, uh, I don't know, uh, some type of, like, dragster, I mean, not dragster, um, I forget what they're called, what's the name of this, uh, it could be called Bone Shaker, but that thing looks like a three instead of a B, so I don't know if it's three one shaker, I would think, I would think it says it's a Bone Shaker, but I, I don't know. Yeah, because it's got a skull in the front that's like bones. It's a broken skull. It's like a big crack right here. So this has to be called Bone Shaker. Um, it says it again right there. It's spelled differently though. Uh, that looks like a, a car number 68 on that side. It doesn't look like a 68 on this side. It looks like an 18. That's weird. Got some sponsors. Big exhaust coming out the side. Cool wheels. Okay, next. Big race car. Uh, this is a funny car, I think you would call this. Maybe. Not quite. Um, sometimes these open up, but this one doesn't. 
It says Track Stars, number 33. It's got some logos. It's a very fluorescent yellow plastic body with an ultra dark clear purple window. You can't really, I don't know if you can tell, but you can almost just barely see inside there. It's like a very dark purple. Uh, pink wheels. Did I see the name of this before? Time Tracker. It's very cool. Okay, next. Um, let's see. This is another like a custom design from Hot Wheels, I believe. Really cool interior. The really high tech looking uh, clear yellow canopy type of thing. This is, I would almost say this could be an electric car, but probably not. Very stylish and futuristic. I like how the uh, taillights are the clear yellow plastic. It's got a nice racing stripe. Body is very smooth, like a prototype. This is called the Exotique. The front end is really cool too. Clear headlights and taillights are awesome. That's really nice. Okay, third, fourth row. Corvette time. Look at this beautiful car. I believe... No, that's plastic. Okay, this is a like metallic plastic blue um, bottom and a metallic blue painted metal top. It feels pretty heavy. Uh, big engine on the top of the coming out the hood. Really nice flames that go really good with the blue. Almost official Hot Wheels race car colors, but not quite. This is a little bit of a softer blue than their usual Hot Wheels colors. A uh, little tiny exhaust coming out the side. The pipes. And nice back. The chrome uh, bumpers. I like this one a lot. This is uh, one of my favorite types of cars, is most, most Corvettes. Um, the This looks ever so slightly clear blue, just almost like, I don't know, maybe like 2% blue and 98% clear. Okay, here we have a truck. Um, let's see, I don't know if it's a real little truck or a um, custom design. This is called Circle Trucker, so it's probably a custom Hot Wheels design. It's got a cool flat top right here. And a super flat back. Um, one a little light or something right there. Blue windows with that, like, it's like a stock car almost design on the uh, inside. And a, a stock car type of netting for the driver right there. Some struts or something. Uh, track stars. Number 99. Cool logos right there. Uh, I like the yellow wheels on this. Uh, it goes good with the stock car type of theme. Gray bottom. Really cool. Okay, next we have some type of... Um, not sure what this is, so let's just take a quick look at the bottom. Quick and sick. Quick and sick. Another big clear yellow canopy with like a chrome interior. You can see the red floor in there. This is a nice flat black paint job, which is beautiful. Uh, clear headlights once again. Not tail lights though, I don't think. A little bit of chrome on the back. Uh, the bottom is red plastic, slightly uh, carbon fiber styled a little bit. This one's really cool. I like how the yellow goes with the black. I like these uh, stripes right here too, the colors and on the bottom. Okay, we have some type of purple car. Hmm, what is this? This is a crazy looking car. Look at the clear on the sides. You can see all the way inside there. This one's really cool. I like this one a lot. Let's see, what is this called? It's upside down. Hmm, Impavito one. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I've never heard of that before. Uh, is this a newer model? 
haven't seen this one yet, I don't think. It's a little bit like a Lamborghini, but not really. But very uh, over the top styling. Cool back window. Cool spoiler with a really neat shape to it. This is a really crazy car. I like it. Number 43. Okay, here we have. I'm not sure what you would call this. It looks almost like a space moon vehicle or something. I don't know. Uh, this one doesn't seem to have a name. Just a bunch of weird letters and numbers. This is car number eight. Got the fluorescent yellow, I mean fluorescent orange uh, top right there. And this is plastic. Body is metal. Um, I think this part is plastic too. Uh, black plastic. It's got the front wheels are white and the back has a yellow line. Same on the other side. Nice spoiler area. That one's cool. Different. Okay. This one's got the same type of wheels going on. Slightly different color though. Uh, they both had the white front and a colored line on the back. This is car number... I don't think that... I don't know if that's a number or just a design. Can't really tell. This is kind of like crash test dummy little symbols right here. Um, another turbine, like a... Like this one. They're both yellow. That's weird. Someone's got a thing for yellow cars with um, turbine propellers on the top of them. They're Hot Wheels. So, cool back end. Um, the front end. It's got an interesting bumper. I like the interior on this one. It's, I like how this is almost like a rectangle. This one looks really um, space age, but uh, different than the other ones. And it's very flat on the top. So that's really neat. Very slight spoiler type of design right here. But it's clear. Okay. Next we have... Let's see, this kind of looks like a Mustang. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, that's some type of Mustang. It's purple. Big, huge spoiler. Um, custom 1915 Ford Mustang. In like a soft grayish pearlish purple with yellow um, headlights or fog lights or something. I don't know. Nice um, thing right here. Yellow on the wheels. Nice um, stripes, racing stripes. Um, the the top is neat. It's like a kind of a clear gray, but there's something on the inside right here, so you can't see through it. Uh, so I got an extra piece, so you can see through here and here, but not here. That's weird. I've never seen them do that before. This one's this one's cool. It's different, and I like the colors a lot. And Mustangs are pretty cool. Okay, here we have a Lamborghini with no top. This is Lamborghini Aventador J in. Metallic green. It's kind of like a pea green or I don't know what you call that green, but it's really nice. It's got stripes on the front, but not on the back. Uh, some engine stuff right there. Nice. Um, I like how there's no weird graphics on the side. It's just, it's just green. And it's got like gray wheels. on. It's black plastic, but gray paint. I uh, love Lamborghinis, one of my favorite types of cars. Uh, nice spoiler. Very cool. Very nice car. Okay, next we have... Uh, oh, this is crazy. It's like a... It reminds me of like a fire truck, but it's totally not a fire truck. It's like a weird racing car. Um, the sides, the windows are like... Almost go down to the bottom, well, the middle. And they're clear, like a clear green. Uh, check out the wheels. They've got a weird little spot 
all four of them have that little spot. Um, it's like a very pale chrome green on the wheels. Uh, these might glow in the dark, I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I think you could just almost see it glowing a little bit. I didn't really give it enough light, but uh, the the top, this part is um, plastic. Oh, it moves a little bit. Oh, look at that. It snaps back in. Wow, is that like a feature? What is this? Why does it do that? It's like a tab that holds it in. You can just snap it in there. That's weird. Spoiler. Um, what does it say? Geo. Glow. Oh, it says glow. I guess, I'm sure these glow in the dark. This must be like from the glowing wheel set. That's really neat. Uh, like a high-tech type of design right there. Cool car. Okay, next. What's this one over here? Hmm. What is this? I don't know what this is called. There's no words on the bottom. Except for, you know, like Mattel and Made in Malaysia and all that. No name. Unless it's the T7... T9719, I don't think that's a name though. It's got this type of bottom again. They really like to put these lines in the bottom. Uh, kind of a fluorescent greenish yellow top paint and bright strong yellow on the bottom. Plastic clear gray. You can see all kinds of stuff inside there. I don't know if that's an engine or something. It's weird looking. Uh, I like this back end right here. Kind of looks like a the 60s type of design. And this is a TS. What does this say? I am H I something. I don't know. Or Hot Wheels GRFX. I don't know. Cool taillights. And this stuff right here. White wheels. Okay, next we have. This is a Porsche. Um, this is a Carrera GT with the lines again. <laughs> It'd be funny if they all have those. Um, chrome wheels on with the nice metallic blue body. This feel this one feels very heavy, even though the bottom is plastic. Racing stripes on the hood, not on the back though. Um, it would have been cool if they went and matched up to this thing right here. That would have been cool. Uh, the taillights are painted and it's got the name of the car on the back. The headlights are painted too. I like it when they do that. It's very nice. Got the little logo right there. Very good quality car. Next we have some type of um, hmm, what is this? Uh, I'm not sure what's going on right here. This is called Radical Racer. There's a T, not a D. Rat, Radical. Is it like a rat? Are these like little eyes? And this is whiskers. And look how they're, um, some are green and some are black. And I guess this would be the nose area. I don't know. Gold plastic wheels. The bottom is metal. This is plastic unpainted. Except for the design. The design is painted on there. Uh, I guess it's supposed to be a rat head. Is that supposed to be like a cheese? Swiss cheese? Engine? I don't know. Pretty weird. That kind of looks like Swiss cheese too, a little bit. Okay, next. Uh, soccer ball car. Okay, this... So this is a um, soccer car. It's got dark bluish green bottom or medium bluish green with a nice soccer ball pattern on the bottom, kind of. Except they're all hexagons. I think uh, soccer balls, some of them are pentagons, maybe. Cool paint right here. It says Hot Wheels Sports, HW Sports. And does this have a name? I don't know, BDD12? BDD 
That one is pretty neat. Oh, I like the green. It's like a nice soft green window. Oh, and the white tires too. Or white wheels. That goes good with the soccer balls. That's pretty cool. It feels pretty heavy too. Okay, next we have this purple car. This is an Aston Martin. I think. I'm not sure what kind of car it is, but it's like a, okay, it looks blue here. It looks like a nice royal blue, but it's not. In real life, it is purple. It's a very nice purple color, like a, uh, just not even bluish purple or reddish purple. It's just plain purple. Cool headlights are painted, and there's a logo, which looks like an Aston Martin logo. Clear, slightly smoked windows. And the bird noises. Uh, black bottom with a nice little texture to it. Um, chrome wheels on the purple car with a nice stripe and a silver pin striping. Very cool. Okay, next we have a police car. Um, let's see. Is that a Porsche, Porsche police car? Probably from like... I don't know if they have those in other countries. Uh, it's kind of expensive. Let's see. This is a Porsche Panorama. Panamera? Panamera. I've never heard of that. Is that a brand new model of car? It's really long. Um, does it have four doors? Yeah, it's a four door car. That's Porsche. Um, that's weird. Is the other one... That they made four door the uh, Cayenne or something like that. I don't, I don't know what they call it. Uh, it's pretty cool graphics for a police car. It doesn't have any lights on the top. Maybe it has the secret lights on the inside that you can't see when it's just driving around. Pretty cool. Let's see. Here we have some type of S F1 racer. There's little dudes in it. Look, they get little uh, helmets. And this one is driving. And this one is just, I don't know, navigator or something. Cool little stuff on the side. Um, plastic gray silver right here and here. This is called the track hammer, I guess. Nice metal bottom and like railings or whatever you call them. Uh, and this is metal too, this black part. Yellow on the wheels, the same color as the bottom, which looks very nice. This is really heavy for its size. It's very thin and small, but it's almost totally metal, except for these little pieces right here and the wheels. Okay. Here we have a uh, McLaren. P1 in white, very plain and simple white uh, car with black interior, nice big window, uh, black on the inside of that scoop there. The wheels have the gray paint, which is hard to see on the black wheels. Uh, one little stripe right there, but not on the back. Cool spoiler, I like this car a lot. In real life, they, are lo they look awesome. Oh, it's got a little, tiny little... Hot Wheels logo right there, and a tiny little, um, like an exhaust or something painted on. Cool. Oh, and the headlights are painted too. Extra cool. Okay, next we have some type of Chevy, maybe like a, uh, 1955 Chevy, I think. Uh, 55 Chevy Bel Air, probably. I don't know. It's a primer gray, and flat color, with uh, slightly glossy flames, kind of a tribal flames a little bit. And this little piece, which is usually chrome, is flat black, or uh, satin black. And it's got the Hot Wheels logo there on both sides. Red chrome wheels, little flames right there. That's cute. 
And the interior is red. I like this one a lot. Except uh, that's a little bit distracting, this black stripe. Um, I think that would be, look better in chrome, but maybe not because, oh, the, the front is black. Uh, yeah, I guess it, it, it matches with the rest of the car. It's just it's just slightly distracting. I should have, like, taken that off the body and, like, sanded it smooth. And, I don't know. It would look better without this just this line right here. I know it's on the real car, but it's just it's just distracting when it's black on a gray car. To me. Okay, let's see. We have this uh, Honda? Civic, maybe? I don't know. I don't know these, like, little small cars. Uh Honda Civic Type R. Uh, this is the race, very, very popular race type of Civic. Bizmo Bizimoto Type R. Cool, weird uh, blue graphic lines all over it. Not sure what that is. Nice gray interior that goes really well with the blue metallic paint. And the nice front end is all painted with detailing. Back is plain. Cool exhaust. It's a neat little car. Oh, I, I really like how the matching blue chrome on the on the wheels looks. That's that's a nice touch. That's a really nice little car. Uh, I would I'd probably try to get this these graphics off though. I think it would look better without that. But they're cool. It's cool with it too. Also. Okay. Next we have this one over here. This truck. I think that's a little Datsun truck. Let's see, focus, that's in 620, number 73 car, um, truck, I mean, Hot Wheels 620, uh, gray bed, the windows are open, nice, um, ever so slightly tinted um, windows, like a brownish tint, but mostly clear, very hard to tell if there's any color to there. Bottom is kind of a nice black that matches the wheels. The wheels have the tiniest gray stripe on the the outside. Cool grill with headlights. I like this color right here. Um, that's a nice color for cars and trucks. Okay, this is we've got a couple rows up or three rows. This is some type of really cool sports car. Um, uh, a, a Pagini? Roadster? Or, I don't know, what is it called? Pagini Huera. I don't know. It's got these lines on it again, once again. And the side is really cool. Like, it's plain, but it's got all this detail down here and here. Gray wheels. The back says Pagini on it, and uh, the name of the car. It's got some cool exhaust stuff, and the, the top has a really nice stripe going all the way down. I like it when they do it. I like, I like, I don't like it as much when there's stripes on the front, but not on the rest of the car. So on this one, it goes all the way down, which looks really good. And the headlights are painted. This is really nice. I like this orange color too. Metallic, like a burnt orange. Here is a clear one. The wheels are not glow in the dark. This is a, a nice little roadster. It, it's got like chrome stuff inside the clear. Bluish green with yellow wheels. This is called the Monter Racer. Very cool dark blue, like a purplish blue metallic bottom, which you can hardly see from the top except for on the, the very front. And right there, and just a little bit right there. Uh, this is a beautiful color. I'd like to see a whole car in it, but it's really nice as a uh, complement to the greens and blues and yellows of this car. This I like the colors of this car a lot. Uh, a little bit of chrome right here. And the seat is also the bottom color. Very cool. This is this is nice for for a non-licensed car. This is really cool. Front end is cool too. Awesome. Okay, next. Uh some type of old uh, Datsun, maybe? 
with little rear view mirrors right here. Custom Datsun 240Z. Um, it's got a weird little spot for a number, like a racing number, but there's no number. It's just a circle, an empty circle. Gold wheels right there, or gold on line on there on the wheels. Cool black on the hood. Um, like a smoke clear windows. It's not open. This is really nice. I like nice old classic cars like that. Some graphics, but not too much. Here's another kind of old car. Uh, I think this is a Skyline. I don't know the name, the number. Uh, a 1982 Nissan Skyline R30. Uh, these are cool in like racing games. I don't know much else about them because the these are usually like only in Japan. The, the color is a really nice metallic gray, silver. It's like not really a blue or any other color. It's just gray, dark silver. Um, it's got a little bit of writing right there. Can't really see what it says. Something R5 or RS Turbo. Does it say R30? No, I don't know. Uh, the windows are open. Clear glass, kind of. Oh, the back is painted cool. That one's really nice and classy. Okay, we only get two lines left after this. This is an old Lotus. Uh -oh. Okay, um. This is an old Lotus Esprit, 81, S1, something. Uh, it's got gold wheels, and it's black, and it's very cool. It's got gray, I mean, dark, uh, black or dark gray on the inside. The back is painted. It's got the license plates with the year on it. It kind of looks like a DeLorean, but not quite. Um, Lotuses are cool, and DeLoreans are cool, and lots of old cars like this are cool. This is really nice. It was like three old cars in a row, I think. Okay, here we have, it looks like another old car. Um, no. This kind of looks like a weird cross between a Jaguar and an Aston Martin. I, don't, I have no idea what this is. Um, let's see, the, my lighting is messed up, I'm sorry. And this is called, doesn't have a name. Uh, I don't see any name on there. It's got a, it's got like a, a weird colored graphics, almost look, reminds me of like a candy or something, or like 1970s styling. What is this? It says, oh, spring. This is a, a themed car for the, like, the time of year. It says spring right there. I guess there's like summer and winter and all that uh, other cars, but this is just the spring one. It's kind of a pearl metallic pink with pink and yellow graphics and fluorescent and orange windows and stuff. That's really cool. It's different. Here we have... Another one of those little cars, I don't really know what they are. Let's see, is it another Honda? Is this the same car as before? No, this is a hatchback. Um, this is... Audacious? Oh, it's not even a real car. Um, this is from the chest set. This is a pawn car. I guess there's other ones like... King and Queen and Knight and um, all those. Blue bottom plastic with the lines. And the blue interior. No, wait. The window is clear blue. Um, the interior is kind of like a gray or soft gray or white or something. I can't really see it. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? This is purple. Um, if you think it looks blue here, it's not. It's, it's very purple in real life. And actually, this is purple too. This is very purple. It's not blue at all. 
if I look through the camera, it looks like Hot Wheels blue. Like, you know, like cars that look like this. It's a real blue, but it's not. It's This is purple. Um, that's neat. Uh, I don't know if I have the, any of the chess cars. I don't usually buy um, ones like that. Here we have some type of old uh, 70s cruiser type of car. Big, big heavy car. Um, this is a 1965 Impala. Oh, did I say 70s? It's a 65 Impala. Chrome bottom and bumpers. Gold paint. Gold flames with goldish yellow pinstriping. Nice clear windows. This window is open so you could hide stuff in there. Something very small. Gold wheels. This is a low rider, it looks like. Very cool. Nice, really nice flames on this car. That's a really cool paint job. Okay. Uh, this looks like a little uh, Mini Cooper, maybe? It's got the same logo as the other one that I had. Here it is. Sorry, it took me a while to find it. Very cool. Is this like a set? Both kind of similar colors. Um, is that supposed to be a 51? Or no, no, because it looks like a 12 here. It's just weird graphics. So this is a Morris Mini. Yeah, that when they were old, they used to be called Morris Mini. And then, uh, who was it, BMW Bottom or something? And then they called them something else. Mini Cooper or I don't know, something. Uh, gray wheels. Of chrome grill looks really cool in there. Very cute. And one more row of cars. Here is an Acura NSX, I think. A 1990 Acura NSX with the black bottom with a little bit of a cool texturing in the middle. But this part is smooth. Chrome wheels. Nice uh, silver paint. It is a lighter silver than this one. This is with a darker silver. It's got ultra dark tinted top. You can just barely see inside. The front has the tiniest little bit of like a non-metallic silver paint. Uh, right there, a little logo, Ac Acura logo. And the, the rear has some tail light paint and a little Hot Wheels logo right there. Very cool. Okay, last row. Here we have a Lamborghini with the cool clear back and front window. This is a uh, Lamborghini Huracan LP, I guess, with a little bit of chrome on the wheels. Nice racing stripe that goes all the way down. Oops, wait, this is not a racing stripe, this is a Hot Wheels logo. It still looks cool, it, it, it matches. It's white and then white, white. I like how you can see inside there, to the engine area. No graphics on the side. The headlights are painted. Little Lamborghini logo right there. Very cool. Beautiful car. Okay, here is the official Hot Wheel racing team colors, I believe. It's kind of a flat blue. Usually these are glossy. This is one that's a little bit different. Flat blue paint with the Hot Wheels logo, number three. Looks like it's got the 50th anniversary logo right there. This is... Bone Shaker. Uh, yep, Bone Shaker. It's like a little roadster, I think. Or, no, wait, what do you call these? Rat Rod. Um, bunch of stuff right in there. A big fuel tank or something. Engine. 
uh, exhausts all over the place. And intakes and all kinds of crazy stuff. Oh, this is the same car as the other one. No, 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 wait. The other one had a crack. And this one doesn't. Okay, wait. So this one's got no roof. Um, same engine. But this one is nice and whole. And this one's broken. And different wheels. This is a fifth... Is that the 50th logo right there? 50th anniversary in the wheels. That's neat. This is like a really special car or something. It's cool how it's like almost the same, but they just changed a bunch of different little stuff. And this one's called, what was this, the Bone? They're both called the Bone Shaker, I guess. So that's cool. I like this one better. I like the colors and the black and the... Hot Wheels logo. Okay, another pawn car. Um, different car, I guess, but this is a, a Ford Fiesta, and this one was a Honda, I think. No, wait. This is audacious. This is not a real car, and then this is a real car. So, they got a real Ford car with the pawn logo on it. Gold pawn. Kind of weird. Uh, spoiler on the, the roof. Cool green bottom. I like that color a lot. Not painted, just plastic. Cool grill right there. That looks really neat. Clear uh, headlights. Clear green windows. Super cool colors. Really neat. And two more. Here we have a, I don't know what this is, Fast Felon, so this is not a real car, it's called Fast Felon, it's got a cool roundish window, orange glass, or plastic, fake glass, and a nice silver plastic bottom with a red engine right there. Gold wheels. This is a baseball car number six. Kind of goes in that set with the soccer car, I guess. This is, has a really nice shape. I like the high um, back end. A little bit of a point to it. The flat top. Very stylish car. Um, for for a non-licensed car, you know, not it's not like a Jaguar or anything like that. It's a really nice design. And last car. This is, I don't think this is a real car. This is a Super Blitzen. That's a weird name for a car. It sounds like a reindeer. Number four, a uh, very aggressively styled front end. Clear blue glass, big spoiler. A um, little bit of a stuff going on right there. R or something. Hot Wheels logo. Really neat back window. Alright, that's all the cars. Let's check out this thing one more time. Alright, check out my other videos. Subscribe to see when I put out more videos. And thanks for watching. Bye!